Hey, hey, welcome back to another Rock and Roll Road Trip, and we are live now. And we are here at the woodshed, and we got Greg here to tell us, uh, well, how's it all work? I mean, like, so if I wanted to play here, I mean, if I, if I wasn't Sammy Hagar, you know, right. just some guy says, oh, I'd like to go there and jam with these guys. Can you just, some guy can get in here and jam, or what's, well, what's the rules? Okay, I mean, so the Action Figures is the name of the band. And you have to have an action figure. Like you literally. I could be an action figure. Yes, dude. Give me that action figure pose. <laughs> yes. That's. I mean, everybody in the band is on a TV show, but the place is more than that. Like we have, we have guys like you that come through that play. And what we love is they'll use it for live streaming. Um, they'll use it for a small event, a, a, a album release party, you know, whatever. But we stream a lot of stuff from here now. It started though with this band that I started with, Hugh Laurie and James Denton and Adrian Pazdar, Bob Guinea, all these guys years ago, and it was for charity. A bunch of actors, we raised six million dollars for charity wow. over the years. Yeah. Oh yeah. man, that's awesome. Hey. Thank you. That's that's beautiful. Thanks. Well, wait, a but so it's not a business. You're saying? No. Well, this it's is a, a business. It's a write-off. <laughs> Exactly. It's a write-off. That's what? right. The bar is a write-off. It's what? all a write-off, man. Wait, wait. How much do you get paid as an actor for sitting around again? Oh, yeah, no. I get paid a lot of money as an actor, but the waiting... Oh, no. No, no, no. <laughs> we got to go back. We're live. We We're can't. live. Exactly. <laughs> I get paid a lot of money to wait around the acting I do for free. I got you. Well, yeah. that's good. Well, I let me, can I introduce you to some of the folks? Please. Everybody's so excited to have yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Right. Great, man. Let's what go place. to the bar. It's totally cool. Very um, cool little joint here. Two members of the band. This is Melora Harden, Hi. who Melora. you know from The Office. And <laughs> I know Melora else. now. <laughs> yeah. And Adrian Pazdar, who was hey, on man. Heroes with me. First, I've got to ask <laughs> Melora here. So you're a singer, huh? I am. Yeah, well. I am. <laughs> Do you like singing? I do. Yes. I freaking hate it. It's I, the hardest <laughs> job in the world. Are you crazy? Oh my god, I love singing. I've been singing all my life. I mean, I don't know. My mom said I wrote my first song when I was two, and uh, and I've just been singing ever since. Right, and you, right, and you sing true. as well? No, periodically when my <laughs> my tonsils don't backfire and slap my face down. But my you throat. also play guitar. Yes. So if you your voices don't feel like it's going to work one day, you can always just play guitar. Always so have fun. But Greg, so you being a drummer, that's yeah. a, you know that's the quirkiest gig in a band. You know the drummers, they're always yeah. nuts. First of all, it is. And when I do make a mistake, which I do often, um, it, it, you know that's when everybody guys like you turn around. Adrian will turn around, <laughs> and it's like it just lets the audience know, okay, somebody messed up. How many how many shows a year do you guys do? Like the action figures. It really changes. Many, you know, it, it depends does. on on well, well now skip, with COVID. Skip in 2020. Go back to 2019. Yeah, right, exactly. Yeah, when we can everybody. actually play gigs. It was about I don't know maybe ten. A yeah. year, but here's That's the thing. That's all? Yes. And how often do you rehearse? <laughs> Dude. There's the real Wait a minute. There's a real there is. Oh, there's a real He was stuck in the what bathroom. That was on? you. Excuse me, sir. I was in the bathroom. That was an excellent entrance. Excuse me, sir. That was an excellent entrance. Did you lost? Entrance. I, 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 well, I, they, I need the bathroom, but I'm just walking down there, and they said there's one in here. What are you? <laughs> okay. What are you guys doing? Dude, this well, is the, there's the, reveal. This is the ultimate right here. The reveal is gone. We just oh lost our reveal. <laughs> well, Rick, stick around. Right? Is this okay? Together, Mr. Rick Springfield's in the house. Oh, this is what come they call on. the surprise reveal. Here's I a, love it. Here's we a, keep Rick in the bathroom most of the time. Here's so a difference well, I like what between. Going on out here. So I yeah. <laughs> but here's the Save difference us. between Rick and y'all. Yeah. He's a real musician, and he's a real actor. See? Yeah. You yeah, guys yeah. are. Here's that. that. Backwards compliment. Yeah. 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 You guys are real wow. actors. Thanks. Thanks Get some chili in here. I'll be back. Okay, when we come back, we're going to talk a little bit more about Rick, the real actor and the real musician. He's going to set us straight what's more important, acting or being a musician, damn it. Go into the bathroom. That's um, important. Getting out of the bathroom. Right, right, right. Yeah. Welcome back to another Rock and Roll Road Trip. We are having fun here. We got actors, we got musicians, and we're going to find out now what it's all about. And it's live, so be careful if we blow it. Don't worry about it. I thought having Rick Springfield part of this show yeah. would be kind of like the thing that maybe he could explain it. Because, you know, like, why, what really makes you want to be a singer over acting? Or maybe it's not over acting, but I mean. I, got, I have a question for you. Yes. Because, okay. because uh, yeah. no, it, it's interesting because actors want to be musicians. Musicians want to cross over. Well, I do. Yeah, I thought about it. <laughs> we're on two, uh, two rockets, man, at the same time, right? 
I mean, both of them. So how did you manage, just schedule-wise? How did you do that? Were you just shooting, and then you would get on a jet and yeah. fly into a show? Yeah, well, I was on the soap opera, which we won't mention. But um, Why not? Uh, OK, we'll mention soap opera. General Hospital. And I, I, was, I was only on there for like 18 months, but, I, but I, I would work five days a week. I'd get on, this is when the planes were flying at like 2 o'clock in the morning. You know, So I'd get on a plane, I'd fly to the <coughs> first gig, I'd do a gig Friday night, I'd fly to the next gig, do a gig Saturday night, do a gig Sunday night, get up Monday morning, early enough to fly back to walk on the set of General Hospital. And it was exhausting, but it was like, I mean, I was up for what it. What did you have more fun doing? Oh, music, of course, you know. Oh, I mean, yeah, honestly. You, know. you get to sleep in. Yeah, there, yeah, you know. no, you don't, actually. I didn't, anyway, back then. What's harder, remembering lines for a, a play or for a, 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 a acting job or remembering lyrics to songs? That's a great question. <laughs> That's a really good question, yeah. Well, lyrics I mean, rhyme, I so it's a little easier, but. <laughs> yeah, I think they're, I think they're, they're both relatively easy. I, I actually find it really difficult to learn harmony parts. Like, I'm terrible at harmony. You're a lead singer. See, yeah, I'm the same way. Yeah, I'm terrible at harmony. I'm a lead singer, harmony. and I've got to sing the harmony part, I'm going, yeah. <laughs> That's, okay, <laughs> okay. How do you pick material? I mean, we, so have, we have a pretty, pretty The action figures. Yeah. How do you get that set list? Come on. It's Who, stuff we've done, stuff we're comfortable with, stuff we've done with the previous band. Yeah, but band. each one of us brings a different yeah. thing. I love the Blues Brothers, uh, you know, the commitments, like all that kind of, I just love it. I love playing it. Um, I, you know, I talk through a couple of songs. I'll do Bad Bad Leroy Brown or something like that. But he'll bring certain rock tunes. You bring a different music. You know, Jack Coleman, who's in the band, he'll bring something. Yeah. It, it's interesting, you know, Jesse Spencer yeah. will bring something. Um, it's a pretty good mix of music. I mean, I don't think we have one, you couldn't pigeonhole one genre. We do country fighting songs, John O'Reilly. Yeah. Uh, mixing that up with The Clash. Uh, but I think yes. Malora being the, you're the lead singer, right? Yeah, I mean, I, yeah. I, I, so that's what I do. What, what if these guys bring a song and you're like going, oh, I can't sing that song or I hate that song. Would you do it anyway? No. No, we'll I, I only do this. <laughs> I only do. I only pop in with them like when I can because I'm I'm busy a lot. But but I I do like a few songs with them. I don't do. We don't. Yeah. No. Yeah. We have. <laughs> we always collaborate. We What's always your... collaborate on what song it's going to be because there's certain things I just I wouldn't be great to. Th they would be better at singing. Yes, yeah, right. What's your wheelhouse? Do you sing? Do you all sing covers. Guy songs or mainly female songs? Uh, I mean, what I've done has all been female stuff. Like I hit me with your best shot. Boom. And I did. I did crazy. Crazy one year too yeah. with you guys. Crazy, and then what did you? We um, just did. We just did one. What was the what other was it? one? On the Brad? USO tour, we just. did. Yes, I know. Oh, I'm you like, killed it! It was amazing. Brad, what was that? Oh yeah, oh, son, son of a preacher, preacher man. man. Which son we we did oh. that because I did that on the Office. I, I just started singing it on the Office, and everybody thought it was so hilarious. So, and I didn't yeah. get to finish the song. <laughs> okay, oh, drink up, kids. Cheers, Let's go play man. some music. Hey, welcome back. We are live on a rock and roll road trip, and uh, we're gonna do some live music, and we're probably gonna make mistakes, but that's all good. Mr. Rick Springfield is in the house yeah. with the action figure, the action figure. Hey! Jesse is a friend. Yeah, I know he's been a good friend of mine. But lately something changed, it ain't hard to define. Jesse's got himself a girl. I want to make her mine And she's watching him with those eyes And she's loving him with that body I just know it And he's holding her in his arm Late, late at night No, I wish that I had Jesse's girl I wish that I had Jesse's girl Keep playing When can I find a woman like that? It's live, baby <laughs> Hook me up <laughs> Oh, yeah. We are live! What happened to guitar locks? I play along with Fisher. <laughs> yeah. There doesn't seem to be a reason to change. You know, I feel so dirty when they start talking cute. I want to tell that I love her, but the point is probably moot. But she's watching him with those eyes. And she's loving him with that body. I just know it. And he's holding her. In a zombie late at night You know I wish that I had Jesse's girl I wish that I had Jesse's girl Where can I find a woman like that Like Jesse's girl I wish that I had Jesse's girl Where can I find a woman Where can I find a 
don't see in me I've been funnier than cool with the lines Ain't that the way love's supposed to be Hang on! It's not supposed to be that good. We're supposed to make mistakes on this show. We're going to check out some of my uh, bloopers, some of my worst performances, I mean, some of my favorite performances from uh, Rock and Roll Road Trip. Don't go away. Thanks, everyone. God bless you. We'll see you. See you around the bend. Thank you. <laughs>